The UN Security Council has spoken with one voice, strongly condemning North Korea's recent ballistic missile launches. The council says the launches were a grave violation of the nation's international obligations and vowed further action if the threats continue. Gonsoa has the details. The members of the Security Council strongly condemned the ballistic missile launches conducted by the Democratic People's Republic of Korea on 5 September 2016. Four hours was all it took for the UN Security Council to unanimously adopt a press statement against North Korea's recent violations, namely its launch on Monday of three medium-range ballistic missiles off its east coast. Issued just 11 days after a statement on Pyongyang's recent submarine-launched ballistic missile test, the new statement says all members are deeply concerned about the launches that were carried out in flagrant disregard of its demands. That China, North Korea's only major ally, did not hesitate giving its approval is said to be related to the timing of the provocation. This launch, which I would note took place while China was hosting the G20 summit once again shows the DPRK's blatant disregard for its international obligations. The deputy chief of South Korea's mission to the UN said the international community should send a clear and unequivocal message to North Korea. If they continue to provoke and violent, violate the international commitment and uh, sanctions, they will face a much stronger and insurmountable uh, and, and significant countermeasures. The remarks suggest that if North Korea stays on its current path, it could face even tougher punitive measures than the strongest UN sanctions to date, which were imposed on the regime after its fourth nuclear test in January. South Korea has welcomed the statement, saying it shows the UN Security Council's united will to bring about change in North Korea. According to the foreign ministry, Seoul will continue its diplomatic efforts for the thorough implementation of UN sanctions on the regime. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.